Alright, welcome back to another video. Now today we have another episode of Sakura Succubus. Where we left off, we ran into a bit of a situation in the lockers, but our boss doesn't know this. So hopefully um, nothing will happen by that. But also, we are coming back to do another photo shoot with Hazel Williams. I'm very scared. <laughs> Because I already know the consequences of this, and this is not going to be fun. So, uh, yeah, let's just get right into it. One week later. Hey, Roki, you came back. What's up, Hazel? How you doing? That's right, I sure did. I greet Hazel with a cheery smile and a wave. It's been a little while since I last saw her, but her bright smile has lost none of its previous charm. I came here a little later in the day than my in initial meeting. It's about 16... It's about 16 p.m. now, and the photo... Oh, sorry. The photo... Fo it's 16 p.m. now, and this photography session is meant to last until... 1800... Usually Hazel finishes up the sports center at about 15 o'clock, but she hung around a little later for my sake. For that, I am very grateful. Hazel was in the middle of a practice tennis match with another girl when I interrupted her. She dropped her racket with an apology and rushed to greet me, returning the smile with one of her own. She looks so excited right now. She's practically bouncing up and down on her heels, much to the irritation of her ever-present Yuriko. Well, I'm glad you two seem to get along so well, are getting on so well. I'll take my leave, since I'm obviously not wanted. Hey, hey, Yuriko, wait! Hazel calls out to her flight lover, but Yuriko ignores her. She turns about nearly one heel and marches off, slamming the door behind her. After Yuriko's departure, a rather awkward silence envelopes the large tennis courts. Hazel laughs awkwardly, perhaps in an attempt to diffuse the heavy atmosphere and then scratches her cheek with one finger. <laughs> Sorry about that, Haruki. It's fine. You've done nothing wrong. You don't need to apologize. If anything, I feel like I'm the one who should offer you an apology. Oh? Hazel raises an eyebrow. How'd you work that one out? This might be my own Hebrews talking, but, well, I hope I haven't soured your relationship with Yuriko? She did not seem happy to see me again. Ah, she's just jealous. She's been, a bad, she's been in a bad mood since your boss called to arrange another meeting. I see. I figured as much. Since my boss called about a second meeting right after the first, this must mean Yuriko's been pissy for a whole week. Oh, she hasn't taken it out on Hazel. Maybe Yuri isn't the purest form of love after all. I guess even lesbians are susceptible to jealousy. Not that Yuriko's feelings are entirely irrational. I did sleep with Hazel after all. In the locker, no less. Yeah, pretty much. Does that make me the bad guy here, or... Maybe Hazel's the bad guy? For initially, for close con our close contact. But... She only did that because she's a succubus. It's in her nature. Ugh, this is such a headache. I hope she isn't too mad at you. Here goes slightly like that. She gets mad easily. That This wouldn't be the first time that we had a falling out. And you're okay with that? It should be fine. Hazel Smite blithely. I don't like it when Yuriko gets mad, but she never stays mad for long. I see. 
I'm glad their relationship is going strong. Then, Hazel doesn't seem at all concerned about Yurko's poor mood, so I guess I shouldn't let it affect me either. Still, I start to feel a little like a third wheel in this harmonious relationship. Well then, uh, today I have permission to take photos in a few other areas of the sports center. My boss asked me if I could take some pictures of you in the swimming pool, but that feels a little too, I don't know, something from a grabber photo book. Would you be comfortable doing that? Would I ever? Huh, Sula puffs out her chest proudly, her hands on her hips. I'm pretty pleased with my body. I've worked long and hard to get this nice toned muscles. <laughs> if your readers want to see what I've got beneath my clothes, I wouldn't mind giving them a bit of free service. But Yuriko might not approve. <laughs> I don't mind making her a little jelly, but I don't want to piss her off too much. Yeah, I figured as such. Yuriko's not even here at the present, but I guess she Still sometimes an obstacle, all with. Maybe we should scrap the swimsuit idea? Then, I think it's a little sketchy anyway. Sure, I took photos of AU wearing a skin-tight swimsuit, but that's the part of the course for idols. Sports stars like Hazel usually treat a bit, oh, sorry. Sports stars like Hazel are usually treated a bit more seriously, even if she has become famous along on the uh, fucking hell can I <sighs> sports stars like Hazel are usually treated a bit more seriously even if she has become more famous online go for going commando during her all important matches do you want to head to the gym then um, that should give us ample opportunity to show off those muscles of yours Oh yes, that sounds like a great idea. My arms are, have been aching for a good workout. <laughs> Let's go! Hazel loops one taunt, tainted arm through mine and then tugs me off the tennis courts. She's very strong despite her small structure, or stature, sorry. And I find myself pulled along behind her, powerless to resist. She's gonna have to stop doing this. <laughs> she really is. Oh God, dear Lord. Guys, it's literally like 9.30 in the morning. I'm trying so hard not to fucking yell. Cause God damn, that is, that is, that is, that is a fucking eye catching sight to see, Jesus. So what do you think of this? It's pretty impressive, huh? Huh? Impressive is one word for it. Yeah? I look at Hazel in awe. Hazel wasn't kidding when she said she wanted a good workout. She's squatting, holding a heavy iron bar above her head, letting it ex with a circular weight. Those weights look pretty formidable. I'm not sure how much each of them weigh, but I doubt I'd be able to life even one of them or lift okay <sighs> these weights seems like a challenge even for hazel herself her eyes are narrowed in determination and she's grinning her teeth together beads of sweat drip down her tanned skin and her knees are quivering i have faith in hazel's endurance she's definitely stronger than me but i think she's might have bitten off m too much in an attempt to show off. Will she really be okay? Can you really keep up that pose, Hazel? I don't want you to hurt yourself. It's no problem. I'm just fine. Hazel tries to reassure me, but her voice sounds strained. I'm starting to get seriously worried. Taking the pictures of Hazel in this swimsuit is one thing, but letting her throw out her back and slip a disc would really piss off Yuriko. 
this isn't a Greek tragedy, but I don't want to get castrated by a jealous lover. Hey, Hiroki! Hiroki glanced at me from over her shoulders. Her lips are pursed in a pout and her cheeks are puffed out. Aren't you going to take some pics? I think everyone will love this. I'm sure my bus will love the sight of Hazel's rear striking out at any rate. Oh, sure. Sorry. I fumbled for my character. Yeah. I fumbled for my camera, I adjust my settings, and point it at Hazel. Jesus, I can't speak. <sighs> I take a few shots from different angles when she l labors all the while beneath the strain of those weights. I'll take some snaps, but don't feel obliged to hold that pose. If it gets too much, just let me know. <laughs> I appreciate your concern, but this is real... This really isn't nothing. This isn't even 50% of my true power. <laughs> and she's laughing like a protagonist from a shonen manga. Hazel sure has a lot of grits. You see, Hiroki, I might be a sucky bitch, but I do have talents. I'm serious about improving myself and my body too. That's why I work hard each and every day. Sucky by are naturally stronger than humans. But even our physique's prowls deteriorate if we don't train our bodies. We're, I'm doing everything I can to become a top athlete. I'm not doing it for the applause or an acclaim, though that's kind of nice. I don't care about dating cute girls or hot guys either. I just want to prove that I can do something on my own terms. I don't want anybody saying I lucked out into my success. I won't let anybody look down on me Jesus. I'm not looking down on you I think you're very impressive see my problem here I know you do but others aren't so kind there's always scandals in the sports industry athletes get racked over coal for being too tall too lean too fit they say it isn't fair that athletes aren't on even play fields uh, some athletes are even called out for being naturally taller and fitter than others. Like, they can't, they can't help that. I don't want to get singled out like other people have been. I won't give anybody room to accuse me of coasting along. I love fair fights more than anything. I never try and screw over my opponent. I might be a succubus, but I still work hard. I never give up until I accomplish my dreams. Though Hazel's legs is quivering, I s she doesn't s set the weights to one side, if anything. Her grip upon the iron bars increase. In the beginning of her photo shoot, I thought Hazel was just being stubborn. But now, after a little speech, I think I understand her a little bit better. As a succubus, she has a bit of natural edge over normal humans, but she's not content to sit back and coast on that. She continues to train her body at every given moment so she can maintain her physique or just say physical condition. She's an incredibly hard worker. <laughs> it would be unfair to deride her for being a succubus when she's putting in so much effort. Honestly, I think her attitude is impressive and she's not just Hazel who wowed me. Marina works hard too. So do Ayu and Ifumi, and even Cosmos in her own way. They're sucky by, but they live among humans and they are doing their best to play by our rules. That all successful in their field and it wouldn't be, it would be unfair to chalk these successes up to luck. They're wonderful women in their own right. And I'm glad to, that I'm glad I met them, every single one of them. I don't know much about sports, but I rarely watch tennis. But Hazel's determination is stirring something within my breast. I think I might have become her biggest fan. Ah, that felt good. Hazel's reclining in the changing room, a towel draped 
about her neck. Now it's 1800 p.m. My appointment with Hazel is over and hundreds of new photos stored in my camera. I have no reason to tarry any longer. I might as well go home. But it's hard to tear myself away from Hazel. I surely worked hard. I'm so hot. Hazel picks at the hem of her white tennis skirt. It's sticking to her thighs with sweat and she has to peel it from her skin. She flaps her she flaps at her skirt's whim, revealing a truly dangerous amount of her tan thighs, or maybe something more. Now I'm starting to get curious. Hey, Hazel. Yes, Hiroki, what is it? Did you want to compliment me for doing such a good job? I shook a lot of awesome poses, huh? I hope those photos will turn out good. I'm sure they will. I'm not at all worried about that. No? Nope. I'm just wondering, um, how can I bring up the subject without seeming indelicate? I don't want to offend Hazel, but she doesn't seem like the sort to get upset easily. She's easily, uh, she's an easygoing type of girl, almost boyish to, in her brash. Confident cheeriness, cheeriness, excuse me. It seems silly to get worked up about such small details. Asking her about her underwear, or lack of, should hardly be an issue. I should, I've been reading some interesting rumors about you online. They say that you're a lesbian. Not true. Hazel pouts, puff out her cheeks. I'm bi. Yes, I know that. I figured that was a misunderstanding, but I also heard that people say that you don't wear underwear. Is that correct? Oh, that. Huh. Hazel grins. There's a bit of truth to that, actually. Uh, it's true. I don't like wearing underwear, especially during the tournament. It's so constricting. <laughs> I'm fucking dead. <laughs> oh, and here comes the frustration. <laughs> When I'm wearing panties, I feel like I can't relax. It makes it harder to get my head in the game. They limit my power way too much. So the rumors were really true. I guess that's another mystery resolved. But Hazel's answer invites me far more questions. Aren't you worried that your skirt will flip up during a match and everyone will see you? Hmm. Hazel considers an issue for a while, but then she responds with a cheery smile. Nope! You're not? Nah, if mishaps like that happen, I can say I'm wearing skin-colored undies. No one will know. You can say that, but there's a photo of your butt on mine. So what? I can say they're all edited. That ain't enough to tarnish my reputation. <laughs> well, I'm glad you seem to think this. Jeez, this girl is so lavish foul. Doesn't she realize that this could seriously damage her career? I'm surprised more people hasn't learned about this. What if this becomes public news? It might be banned from future tennis tournaments. If I can't play Commando, I don't want to play at all. They'd be like no point. This is very important to me. I, I see. Hazel does seem pretty fired up about this topic. I think she's being earnest too, as ridiculous as it might seem. <sighs> I guess panties are a sore spot for her. I wonder why. Does she see some dark panty-related trauma? Maybe she wets herself in preschool or something. Maybe it was best not to pry. I've already got where I came for, and I've learned something very interesting about Hazel too. An hour's getting on. I should be going now. Oh yeah, I guess it's kind of late, huh? I had no idea. When I'm with you, time goes by fast. I sure had a lot of fun. In fact, Hazel pinches a strand of hair between her thumbs and four fingers. Finger, Jesus Christ. She brings it to her nose, sniffs, and then winks. I think I might have been... I've been have, I think I might... 
could have had a bit too much fun. I'm all sweaty now. I need a shower. You look a, a little rough too, Oroki. Well, I've had a busy day. Come all this way after work, lugging after photo equipment with me. Is it heavy? Kinda. The camera's pro tends. The camera's pros use tend tends to be pretty bulky, but I have to bring all the lenses too. Wow, being a photographer is harder than it looks. No, it's no wonder you look all tired all the time. <laughs> I know you've gotten to get back, but it looks like you can use a shower too. Hey. Hazel's voice dropped into the volume and it sounds unusually sultry. She blinks at me beneath her eyelashes, then says, Do you want to join me? Join you? You mean in the show? This is about to get out of hand. <sighs> All right. I think this is where I'm going to have to censor it. <laughs> I don't know. 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 That's right. Uncalled be avenge environmentally conscious it's good to be good for the planet to conserve water well hazel's offer is tempting but i'm not sure if it would be sensible what should i do i mean i'm gonna leave it here guys i i'm i'm, I'm gonna leave it here Thank you guys so much for tuning in for this video. If you guys want to see more, make sure to leave a like. Also, hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. Oh, boy. Okay, we're going to be ending up on a whole different run. Okay. Anyways, guys, it's been it. Z Zed out.